Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Tutorial with Sayyid. In this episode we will see how to use index and match formula in Excel and perform a two-way lookup. Let us take a look. To follow along with me please click on the link in the video description to make a working copy of this workbook. On this book I have four sheets. The first one is invoice. This is where I will demonstrate and you can use the same sheet to practice. The second sheet is discount data set where I have the percentages of discount by country and product. And the third sheet is pricing where I have the pricing information by country and product. Finally, I have the fourth sheet which is key sheet. I am using the sheet data to create dynamic drop downs in my invoice here. Now let us start here. In this sheet, the first column is auto populated based on this formula. As soon as we select the country name, the serial number will auto populate. Similarly, the amount column is also going to calculate based on the formula that I have already entered there by checking the quantity, price and discount information. Now what I want to do here is I would like to fetch the price and discount information based on the product and country selected from these drop downs. So if I select Canada and go ahead and select security and for example if I select smart doorbell I want the price of the smart doorbell from Canada to be fetched here and similarly the discount information here. Based on that my amount will be calculated depending on the quantity that I enter. Now if I go into the pricing sheet here Canada and security door. Well, that's the information we need to look. So here in Canada, I need to look for security. That is going to be this one. So the information that I should get here is 350 for pricing. So let me go ahead and try that using index and match formula here. Equal to index then the first argument that I need to give here is array. So for that I will go into the pricing sheet, select this entire data set. Now press command T to lock this range if you are on Mac and if you are on Windows press F4 on your keyboard to lock that range. Comma. I need to provide the row number now. To provide the row number I am going to use match function so I can fetch that row number dynamically. I am going to start typing in the match function. What is the lookup value? I am going to look for that value under the invoice here. I need to look for this product where in the pricing sheet under the column B because that is where my products are comma zero for exact match close the match function now that will now fetch me the exact row number of the product that is selected in the drop down on my invoice comma now I need to fetch the column number because I need to find out the column here based on the selected country to fetch that information dynamically I am going to use the match function here look up information is going to be the country that is selected in this drop down where should Excel look for that? It should go into the pricing tab, look into this row. Lock that row by pressing Command T if you are on Mac and F4 if you are on Windows. Comma. I need that to be exact match so I am going to enter 0, close the bracket. So this is going to get me the column number dynamically based on the selected country. Now I am going to close the index function press enter. As soon as I do that you can see I have the smart doorbell price for Canada. Now I am going to put this under if error because I don't want it to throw an error if my values are not selected on the left side. So if there is an error because of this formula I want it to go blank. There we go. Now I want the discount information also to be fetched. I am going to use the same technique that is equal to index. Index of what? I want the index to look in the discount data set. Select all these columns. 
lock by pressing command T if you are on Mac and F4 if you are on Windows comma for the row number I am going to provide the match function here using the match function I will fetch the row number dynamically what should match look for it should look for this product where should it look it should look in the discount data set under column B because that is where my products are comma it should be an exact match so zero there close the bracket comma for the column number I am going to write another match function there lookup value is going to be the country selected in my country drop down comma where should it look it should look into the discount data set under this row then let's lock that by pressing command T if you are on Mac F4 if you are on Windows comma zero for the exact match close the match bracket now close the index bracket and press enter there we go we now have the discount information fetched now let us put this inside the if error function in case if there is an error it should go blank close the bracket press enter I'm going to ignore this error now I need to enter the quantity here for the amount to be calculated so I'm going to enter one here so it is calculating based on the quantity price and discount so if I enter two here the price is going to go up now let us drag this formula till the end I'm going to select the entire column and ignore this error now here I'm going to select UK and under the UK I am selecting audios here I'll select home theater system and I want one home theater system there we go we now have the amount properly calculated total properly calculated this is how we are able to use index and match formula in Excel to do a two-way lookup in Excel I request you to practice as much as you can the more you practice the more you will retain in the next episode we will explore more dimensions of Excel if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell icon to enable notifications thank you so much see you soon